So, um, yeah, this came out of freaking nowhere, honest, honestly. This just came out of nowhere, and yeah, I was, I was, wow. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm going to talk about, I guess you could say the official trailer? I guess you could say the first official trailer, or second trailer, because we did have that trailer back in, um, back in January, which, um, pro tip, by the way, if you're going to make a trailer, how about not make one two weeks after you finish filming? You know, there's a, there's a good sign right there. <laughs> yeah, when not when you have all, you know, you still got to put in all the effects, so maybe in the, it'd probably be in your best interest not to do a trailer two weeks after you finish filming. You know, just throwing that out there. Um, yeah, so if you haven't guessed already, I guess I'm going to talk about Venom, the Venom second trailer, or I guess you could say official trailer. Uh, I don't know what to call it. I'll just call it second trailer, I guess. Um, but yeah, uh, this came out of nowhere in the middle of the night on the Venom official page, along with a movie poster, which actually looked really good, which kind of looked... Admittedly, I'm gonna be honest. When I saw that, when I saw that po the uh, the fit the official poster for the Venom trail for the Venom film, I was like, "Is this fan made? Because it looks really fan made." No, really. When I saw that poster, I had to like mentally register. I was like, "Oh my god, this is this is official. This is the official work they're going with. What the fuck?" <laughs> but yeah. Um, so along with the official poster, they release the trailer. They released the newest trailer for Venom, and I gotta say, I feel like that trailer was more of an apology for uh, the first trailer, you know, for the first teaser we got, and this, um, this is, is alright. I mean, it pretty much gives you the whole story, and I'm also going to say is that I know Sony has a tendency to overdo it on the trailers, several times over. I mean, that's what kind of killed a lot of the hype for me for Amazing Spider-Man 2, because they just couldn't stop themselves. And hopefully they'll learn their lesson. I mean, you could argue, but what about all those trailers for Spider-Man Homecoming and it still felt like we didn't get the whole movie? We got all those trail, you know, those trailers and we still, you know, it didn't spoil all the movie when we thought it did. True, but that was under Marvel's, um, that was under Marvel's, uh, guiding eye, so I imagine they wanted to keep a lot of stuff out for the trailer, but this time around it's all Sony, so I can only imagine what insanity in the, you know, ensues with this. Anywho. So, yeah. Now this trailer, like I said, is it pretty much gives you all the symbiote, whereas in the teaser we just got like a little hint in the last second and gave us a brilliant little meme to start off the new year. But this time around they actually gave us an, a a full-on official trailer for um <laughs> for the film lost the word it's like almost one o'clock where i am and i'm tired <laughs> I, why am i doing why are you doing this to yourself zilla oh because you hate yourself that's why <laughs> anyway so so this trailer is it just me by the way but did anyone else after watching this think man i really want to play prototype right 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 about now no, really. When I saw this trailer and Eddie Brock's like using the symbiote to fight and like makes it like he's not even wearing the full symbiote costume, but like the symbiote is like making like a like uh, extending his hand and like making his fist bigger, and I was like, this is prototype. This is full on the game prototype. Like, yeah, you could just easily take out the symbiote and which wouldn't be too hard, but. Which would you could just shift a few things around, and this would easily be a prototype movie um, for the prototype game, which is really the first one's really badass. I can't remember if I like. It's been a while since I played the second one, but I I still love the first one. I still. But anyway, I'm I digress. So this one also, like I said earlier, is that this feels more like an apology for what we got in the teaser because we get to see Venom on a whole, but it's interesting to note that there was some controversy earlier in the month, well, earlier in, like, late March, or, or should I say later in the, or, I mean, eh, April, again, it's w almost one in the morning where I am, as of this recording, 
so forgive me if I'm a little, you know, scatterbrained. <laughs> but there was some news of people, you know, there was this, um, this talk on the internet saying that Venom would only be um, in the film for a total, like some total of seven minutes, and most of it would be at the end of the film. And it got so bad that Tom Hardy had to go on Twitter and say, no, 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 you know, Venom will be in this film a lot. And yeah, I can understand that, you know, he's, you know, a lot's riding on this, you know, actors got to get paid and all that, you know, he already was paid, but still, you know, he, you know, he wants the film to succeed, so I can understand wanting to defend the film, but yeah, it's it, like, a lot of it does look like in this film that Eddie's going to be using the symbiote you know, as a weapon, you know, the symbiote's going to be, like, coming out of his body. We do get that, yeah, there is internal monologue in here, that, you know, this and that. It's also interesting to note that maybe, and maybe I'm just looking into it too much, that a, we do see a, a woman in, in a symbiote suit. And I was thinking to myself, is that Scream? Huh. I think that might be Scream. Because we do know that in this film we are going to get multiple symbiotes in here. And there's even a rumor of... Of Woody Harrelson again. This is not confirmed, but there's a rumor of Woody Harrelson playing Carnage in the film. Which, yeah, he's perfect for the role because Woody Harrelson just makes a would make a perfect Cletus Cassidy. The only person I could see outside of Harrelson playing that role of playing Cassidy and probably play it like to a T of Cletus Cassidy is Jack Earl Haley, who most of you guys would know best as Rorschach from Watchmen, as well as um, Freddy Krueger in the Nightmare on Elm Street remake. He would tell me you would, you would not make a perfect um, Cletus Cassidy. Um, he would just be a perfect Carnage. Anywho, um, so yeah, and we don't get any. So I don't know if that's confirmed or not. Maybe in another trailer we'll see that, or maybe they'll announce it somewhere. I don't know. You think they would have announced, you know, being official, saying, "Hey, Woody Harrelson's Carnage in here." So I don't know. Was, um, I don't know, but we'll see. Um, we get more in here of Eddie, um, with the symbiote, and it's coming out of his body again. Like, there are so many moments in here I was thinking to myself, man, did they just play a lot of prototype while they were making this movie? Because that's what it feels like. And I don't mean to diss on it, it's just, and I like prototype too, it's just that I, I got a lot of prototype feels from this trailer. And again, I'm still kind of like leery of all those rumors of the symbiote only being in here in seven minutes. But we do get to see the Venom, you know, Venom on a hole at the end of the trailer. And he looks nice. He actually looks really good. A little touch up in the face. Um, the mouth and the tongue especially look really good. But I don't know. Is it just me or is, it, is, is there something odd about the eyes? I think it's just me, honestly. Um, the, one, the other thing is that at least from the angle we saw in the trailer, and maybe I missed it, but when he's in the full Venom suit, we don't see the, the white spider symbol. But then again, it, it would make sense because it looks very clear that Eddie Brock and Peter Parker have not crossed paths yet, so he doesn't probably... He probably doesn't have that... He probably won't have that white symbol on him until he, they eventually put him against Spider-Man. Again, under the assumption that this film does well. Because the whole... And this is pretty much the, the thinking right now, is that... What's probably going to happen, if this film doesn't succeed, it won't be part of the MCU. However, if it does succeed, it is going to be made a part of the MCU. Let's just face it, that's how, you know, that's that's how it's going to work. <laughs> that's how this is going to, you know, that's how, let's not kid ourselves, that's exactly how it's going to work. If this does well, um, then we'll probably see Venom in a future Spider-Man film, or Spider-Man in a future Venom film. However... Um, if this does not do well, then yeah. And that'll probably be the case for the other um, Spider-Man spinoffs from Sony, like, you know, that Black, uh, that Black, Ca uh, Black Cat um, Silver Sable film, the um, Morbius film may also be put the kib uh, kibosh on that. But we'll see. We will see. Do I want this film to succeed? Yeah, I always want superhero films to succeed. Um, in some, I'm always optimistic. And a Venom film has been in development hell for years, and I'm still shocked that we're actually getting it. Can, we, can you blame me? You know, for years, people have been wanting, you know, pe you know, excuse me, Sony has been always saying, oh yeah, we're totally doing a Venom film, it's going to be great, we're doing a Venom film, it's going to be great, and we're finally getting a Venom film after all these years. 
So, yeah. <laughs> um, and I like Tom Hardy. I think he was a pretty cool pick as Eddie Brock. And the symbiote looks nice. A little touch up here and there, but it's, I'm sure it's nothing they, you know, nothing a good CGI can fix. I'm liking the symbiote. I'm hoping we get more of the symbiote. That's the more of the, and I mean like, and what I mean is more of the ven Venom on, like, Eddie Brock in the Venom suit. Like, not just him, like, using the Venom suit, like, just every now and again, like, using his power. I want, like, what I mean is, like, see him in the full-on suit more and more, rather than just be, like, um, hopefully just not at the end, where, or just in random scenes. Um, because I know he's a big-name actor, but we all, let's face it, we all came for our favorite brain-eating monster. <laughs> So you guys tell me in the comments below, what did you, you um, what did you guys think of the Venom trailer? Um, the official Venom trailer, the second Venom trailer, whatever. Um, what did you guys think of it? Did you guys like it? Did you guys hate it? Um, what other symbiotes are you hoping to see in here? And just, yeah, once again, hope you all enjoyed this, and I will see you guys later.